I think 5G is incredibly exciting for the future of networks. I think it shows the amount of innovation which is taking place at the network level as well as the service level. And the type of services that it will power, smart grids, smart cities, connected cars, new connections with health, will be incredibly useful to society and encourage the kind of growth that we're really looking for um, within Europe. The challenges that we'll face with 5G are very similar to those that we're facing with 4G. We need the right conditions for investment going forward. At present, the return on capital that we're seeing is declining, so we're not incentivized as a network to invest in the future. What we need to see is more efficient market structures. What regulators are doing at the moment is they're lowering the entry barrier um, to new entrants. So they're encouraging um, new entrants to enter into the market through spectrum allocation, through mandated MVNOs, and they're discouraging them from leaving the market by preventing any consolidation. This is creating too much focus on short-term benefits, which is discouraging investment for the long term. What we need is a regulatory structure which encourages investment for the long term and also looks at regulation which is fit for the digital age and which anticipates the kind of services that will be offered by all parties within the internet ecosystem. The digital single market was intended to create a connected continent and to really drive um, digital growth within Europe. It hasn't really lived up to its promise. It has been watered down through the process and is really now just focusing on price regulation and consumer protection and doesn't have any regulation around investment barring a little bit around spectrum. What we need to see to really drive investment in the future is regulation which enables innovation and which enables investment going forward.